One of the best ways to fly to the Middle East, to Asia, or even to Africa is with Qatar Airways Business Class. So I'm going to show you how to find award space so that you can book these flights at a very reasonable point price. First, even if you don't have American Airlines miles, the easiest way to search is on American Airlines website. So here's what you do. Go to aa.com and then I like to look one way at a time. It makes it much easier to find award space. So you pick one way, redeem miles, and then where's your starting point? Let's, let's start in Chicago. And we're going to go to Doha, which is Qatar's hub. And let's say there's two of you that are going to be flying. And I'm going to just pick just about any date to start with, but you're going to see how we're going to find dates across the year that actually work. I'm sure that my first guess is not going to work because uh, Qatar award space can be hard to find. So we're going to just start with that and press search. All right, now you can see in, in the first results here that business class 300,000 points and it's it's actually on American Airlines flights, not on, on Qatar. So what we need to do is go to the calendar tool and this is what makes AA so good for searching for these awards is because it has this calendar tool with these flexible filters. So you can change it to nonstop flights only. So this is going to be uh, basically uh, eliminating all other carriers except for Qatar. And now change it to business class. No flights available in February. That doesn't surprise me at all. But we can use these arrows to look at other months. So let's look at uh, March and beyond. So in March, we see there's one date with um, a 70,000 point uh, booking. That's 70,000 American Airlines miles per person on March 12th. And let's keep going, just get an idea what else is out there. April has one date. May has one date. It's important to take a look at the taxes and fees up here. Because sometimes you might find a one-stop flight that's on British Airways rather than on Qatar. And the reason that's bad is that uh, British Airways will charge far, far higher taxes and fees. So if this result of May 6 had been British Airways, by looking up here, you would see immediately that the taxes and fees instead of 4180 in this example would be something like $780. And so that would tell you, okay, ignore that search result and go on. But uh, okay, so in June, we've got two different dates and uh, maybe maybe June 17th works well for your, your travel. So click there and uh, press apply changes. All right, so this is operated by Qatar Airways it leaves Chicago at 7.55 p.m. and arrives the next day at 5.30 p.m. in Doha. All right, so let's say you wanted to book this, but maybe you don't have American Airlines miles. That's fine because when these flights are available to American Airlines to book, they are most likely also available to British Airways, to Qatar Airways, to uh, Alaska, uh, to JetBlue even, um, pretty much to any uh, anyone who partners with Qatar. If you have points with that partner, you can probably book this flight. And most of their partners also will charge um, 70,000 points. Usually though, the, the taxes and fees will be higher than through American Airlines. So you might be looking at around $100 in taxes and fees, or maybe a little bit more per person. All right. But what if you really have your heart set, not just on Cutter Business Class, but on Cutter Q Suites? You want the nicest business class in the sky. An easy way to check whether this particular flight has Q Suites is go to Google Flights, so flights.google.com, and find this particular flight. So I'm picking one way, starting in Chicago, I'm going to Doha, and remember the date was June 17th, so I'm going to pick that date, June 17th, and change it to business class, search. All right, so there's a few different flights that uh, go from Chicago, but 
down here you see the cutter one this is the one that showed up on American Airlines and how you know this is Q Suites is look for individual suite if it wasn't Q Suites it would say lie flat seat so um, that's a good way to tell now cutter does have another aircraft that has a product that's not Q Suites that does show up as individual suite but um, that's really good too so as long as you have an individual suite you're gonna be flying a really really nice product so that's great news um, I, I will warn you that sometimes Cutter will swap aircraft at the last minute so just because you book into Q Suites doesn't give you 100% certainty that you will get Q Suites but uh, but it's still very likely all right let's back up a little bit what if your your goal is not to fly to Doha but rather to fly somewhere else beyond Doha. So you want to go, maybe you want to go to all the way to South Africa, or maybe you want to go to the Maldives. Um, let's look at that. Let's say you want to go to the Maldives. Let's do a new search. And this time, I'm still going to start in Chicago, but I'm going to have it go to Male, which is the uh, airport to get to uh, the Maldives. And I'll keep it at two passengers. I'm going to uh, limit it to business and first class, say OK to cookies and search. So we'll go to the calendar again. This time what we want is one stop or fewer. So remember what we're, the goal here is to fly from Chicago to Doha to the Maldives. So we want one stop. And it's already set to business or first class. So there's nothing in February, no surprise. And let's uh, just go month to month to find available space. Okay, we've got one in April on the 28th. Let's keep going a little bit and see what else is out there. Uh, we've got one in May on the 6th and nothing in June. Uh, so what's happening here, do, if you remember, there were two dates with flights uh, from Chicago to the Maldives available in June but the onward flights to Mali now are not available uh, to book with American Airlines miles. So um, that's okay. What if you, if you wanted to fly in June, what you might want to do is, is book just to Doha and then separately book um, the flight from Doha to the Maldives. Or um, maybe uh, you, you could even look uh, with like Cutter Airways uh, web search or BA, BritishAirways.com, they sometimes ac have access to more space than American Airlines does. So I would search the dates that showed up um, for the direct flights, the nonstop flights to Doha. I'd search those dates on BA.com and, and CutterAirways.com to see if they have award availability all the way through to the Maldives. But anyway, for now, we'll just look at, uh, let's say May 6 works for us. And again, I can go to Google Flights. So this is on uh, May 6th. So let's go to Google Flights and just make sure that even on May 6th, the flight to Doha, that part of the flight is what we want to be in Q Suites. And that, yeah, you could see, see even in May, it's an individual suite. So that should be Q Suites to uh, Doha and then the onward flight to the Maldives is not going to be in Q Suites most likely um, but that's okay that'll be a fairly short flight compared to what you're talking about in getting from the United States to Doha. So anyway so that's how to find the award space and again once you find the award space you want even if you don't have American Airlines miles for booking it you can use one of uh, Cutter's other partner miles to book and so let's say uh, you have chase points or american express points or capital one miles or city points or built points any of those uh, you can transfer those points to for example british airways or uh, or to uh, cutter and then book your flights from there and prices aren't going to be as great as with american airlines but they're still going to be pretty good